So I wanted to sit down and talk to you about what this video is going to be about. It is about these wooden seed starting boxes. Now, this is one of my first videos as Basic Lady 101. And I just wanted to take the time, say this channel is going to be about getting down to the basics. Everything from gardening to food to different projects around the house. And this is one of the first ones. Now, I was at a farm for 10 years and we used them in the garden. We used them in the farm part. But mainly in the garden, we used them, we would just put soil right in and start seeds. Because some seeds do well in block planting than in individual pots. Well, here at home, I wanted to make some to mainly for soil blocks. So here I have one planted out. Here is the soil block maker. So I made it the width of eight inches and a quarter. It could have been a little smaller, but you know, you want a little room to be able to move it around. And then I did nine across to be able to fit on the shelf in my greenhouse. Now, what's nice about these, they're made out of wood reclaimed wood, uh, redwood uh, fence panels. Now, when we had to have our fence replaced, I kept them and I did a lot of different projects with them. Here's one, the wall here. And as time goes on, I will talk about the different projects that I've used them. But for today, we're gonna be making these boxes. Um, the nice thing is they are made out of wood, so there's no plastic. You can make them any size you want. Now, I do leave some space here at the bottom for some drainage. They might dry out a little bit more than, say, if you're using plastic, but they will last forever or a long time, considering we glued them. Um, and then secured them with the nail gun. And let's just get down to the video. So I start off with wire brushing all the boards. It's just easier to clean them off now before you start cutting or when your project is finished. And then here I'm taking the chop saw to cut down the pieces. Now because we are using old fence boards, which you know, I've used them for a lot of different projects. You know, at first I save the boards from our fence or sometimes when I see neighbors, I'll ask if I can keep their boards. And then because this is reclaimed wood, sometimes you have to cut off the ends or sometimes some of the boards are cracked. So I just take the time to look over the board to see which ones will work for the project that I'm doing. And then I just take my time to measure out the length and cut them down. And then here I'm using the table saw to cut them to width. Now just take your time and you know be safe. I think that's the most important thing when you're using the table saw is to make sure it's set up to the so here now I'm assembling the boxes and I'm using a nail gun and glue. You can use nails or screws. I do have to say that the wood is brittle. So a nail gun just makes it so much easier. If you have it, I would use it. We use little um, finishing nails and it's pretty quick. 